First thing I want to do is welcome everybody. Today we're having what I would call a creative workshop. This method we're also using for therapy, but I think it has a wider application. And the man who actually developed this method, which is called holotropic therapy, Stan Graf, is using it more in terms of either training or for people to gain special experiences. So today what I'd like to, I think we want to try and look at is see can you open up your own creativity now the, the essence of what we're doing is to achieve an altered state of consciousness if you like to enter the dream world and to do that there are many roads into that pathway hypnosis various kinds of psychedelic substances and so on but today what we're using is breathing that's forced hyperventilation and um, also music the purpose of music really is more as a background. You're not here to be specifically listening to music. You're here to, uh, to, say, to, to go into your own experience. The whole thing is to go down into your own inner experience. If you like, it's, a, it's an inner journey. And it's very difficult to let go of the ordinary nine to five type consciousness. So the breathing way can serve two parts. One is that it does disturb the biochemistry of the brain. But also, uh, if you think only of the breathing, it, it, it tends to stop you thinking of anything else. So what I would ask you is to just concentrate on breathing as heavily and quickly as you possibly can. Try not to be concerned with anything else. You're not going in to try and achieve anything. You're not trying to say, oh, I want to get this experience or that experience, because anything like that can interfere. It's to distract yourself from any direction, to, to, in other words, to let go. So the best way, as I say, is to be preoccupied with the breathing. And essentially, you just keep breathing until you're not aware that you're breathing. There are four phases, if you like, just a little bit of relaxation at the beginning, then getting into the breathing phase, and we tend to play disturbing music or sounds for that to help create the atmosphere. Then a sort of spacey period where you're well into the experience and spacey type of music. And then in the last period, very gentle, peaceful music, so the people come out nice and smoothly and peacefully out of the reaction. We're doing this, actually recording, it's because we want to try and study the process. So if you like, it's a, it's a study workshop, but I think it's an opportunity for all of you to enter the deeper part of yourself and to, and to see how this helps to relieve or release creativity. Close the eyes. And I would like just to breathe in and out deeply and slowly. Take in the breath, try to bring air and oxygen to every part of the body. And then when you breathe out, start to let the body relax. That's it. Big breath right in, and then breathe out and let your body relax completely. Starting with the feet, start with the right foot. Just think of the right foot, think of loosening muscles, the bones, and everything. Then coming on up the body, right calf, lower leg, and then the left, loosening the muscles, letting everything go. Each time you breathe out, you see your body go. And think of the knee joint. You often carry tension to the knee. Loosen the right knee and the left. And it's touching it. It's 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 really it's brilliant. Well, the experience of the therapy was that and there was a lot of resistance in me <laughs> to what eventually happened. My experience was of the therapy was that it enabled me to relive or maybe live for the first time distressing experiences uh, that I had had when I was very young, and they were extremely difficult experiences. And during the sessions with Ivor, they came to the surface. Uh, and I, I lived them again in their full, full, full intensity. There were screams, there were tears, there was a lot of sweat, uh, a lot of anger, a lot of sorrow. Um, 